I'm Jitesh from mapthemes.com and in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to install and configure West multipurpose theme from nav themes all right so this is my fresh installed WordPress so you can see this is the default uh, 2015 theme and this is the admin banner all right so once you will be purchased the theme you will be getting this west dash theme dot zip so I'm gonna extract it so there are one folder west theme and there are two um, things in this documentation and west dot zip this west dot zip is the theme um, zip and the documentation is the documentation of this um, theme so let me click on it okay so this is the default uh, nav themes documentation and since we are here going to explain about west so let me click on it so this is the west multipurpose theme documentation all right so simply to install the theme i'm gonna upload it in, into the wordpress so this is my theme let me add new upload a theme and simply i will do drag and drop install okay so it has been installed and let all right so I'm gonna activate it activate okay so you can see that this theme has been activated so let us see the front end okay so this is not looking like a demo so for making it it had looking like demo we have to do a small configuration which is pretty simple so uh, first we will have to download a file from here demo content and I'm gonna download this file demo content from law firm I'm gonna uh, set up the demo for law firm in this tutorial so if you want to do the same for yoga you can do from here for this these demo contents but since I'm gonna do for law firm I'm gonna download this file so download linked file as west multi-purpose west wordpress this accessible file all right replace there is already a file I'm gonna replace it okay all right so here my file is okay so first to import it I will have to go here to import and then this wordpress this is the default WordPress importer. You can see actually WordPress from WordPress.org. So I'm gonna install it. Install. Activate plugin and run importer. Let this loads fully. Okay, activate plugin and run importer. Okay, so now it's asking me to choose a file since I do already have a file let me again drag and drop okay. so it's asking me a user to assign it since I do have a default user already let me choose the admin okay and please check always this file because it actually downloads all the relative files and all the related things so let me download it submit yes it uh, it's actually quite take a bit time because it actually downloads all the relative images and all things so therefore it takes a time meanwhile what we can do is we can simply remove if there is any sample thing here as we can see here's hello world is a sample thing we can move it to the trash so we do have all the demo content data only all right so we can check if that has been done you can check here because once uh, all the things will be imported the existing post in that particular XML will be listed here so we are refreshing it again and again to check meantime you can check the front end okay it's taking time we got to wait
from my body. Since this actually downloads all the files and attachments and everything related to that particular XML file, therefore it takes time because it you know gets all the things from live server. <coughs> therefore. Once it's all right, so it says fail to import contact form one invalid post contact C form contact form and this and this. This happened because contact form seven we have not installed it yet. Therefore, it happened because once this settings actually get imported, if the particular plugin related to that particular setting is not there, they uh, fail to import actually. So since we do not have contact function in this uh, WordPress, it has not been imported. But if uh, we actually uh, installed already the contact form 7, uh, this has been imported as well. But we will do that later on. That's not a problem at all. Uh, just to let you know, this theme is compatible with contact form 7. So you can first, uh, when, once you are installing this theme, you might uh, try to install the contact form 7 first and then import this settings. So uh, let me see the front end now how it look how it is looking all right so i can see that the all the post has been imported and i can see it here but right now this is the the wordpress is looking like uh, because it has been set in the setting that the latest post should be shown on the front page and we can change that uh, in a moment so we can going here reading setting settings reading and we can select a static page and front page front page front page of the front page and let me see if settings save settings and let me refresh all right so you can see many of the settings are here right now so i can see that all the things as per the demo is here now but still there are a few things left such as logo menus and the slider so how we can make it is that uh, we will go to the appearance menus and we can see here two menus are here footer menu and header menu so since primary prime menu primary menu is uh, which is uh, will be showing here so we can simply select the header menu and save changes so we can see here the menus are simply all the menus we got here all right so now i'm going to import settings option settings because the only thing is left right now is uh, importing the option settings and after that every everything will be the according to the according to the demo so let me import for importing the demo i will again go to this demo content demo content live url and it says for option panel law form option panel this is yoga option panel for yoga only so we are actually doing the law form so i will copy this string here and import from url control v and import okay it says settings imported let me save the changes okay so it should work all right so all the things has been imported as per the demo but one thing is still left which is which is the footer area all right so to configure it we will have to go appearance visits and then this is the main sidebar which will be showing on the single post at the category pages and archive pages or not this is the footer sidebar it will show uh, in the footer which is this area on every page and this is the front page visit area which will act exclusively show on the front page when the front page is showing as a latest post which uh, by default wordpress shows actually so what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure this footer side the sidebar area so let me add the custom menu first and the select menu here footer menu custom menu you will find here and i'm putting quick navigation and let me save okay so refresh okay so i can see here quick navigation now let me do, do the text 
so I'm simply dragging and dropping here okay about that. now in the demo there is recent post shows here but they come from the short code so I will explain you every short code in the next video but in this I am gonna use that particular short code to show the recent post and it's pretty simple I'm simply going here clicking on short codes and I am finding the short recent post short code which is here so I'm just simply gonna copy it and control C and here I'm gonna again grab a text text to use it and title here recent post and just copy and paste save and let me see okay so everything is as per the demo here right now okay so this is a team page okay everything is here team 2 okay everything is here case studies everything is here contact FAQs everything is here blog everything is here short code option panel there are some images contact one all right there is a map but this contact form is not showing because settings has been updated but the plugin has not been installed to making it installed it's pretty simple we are simply going here install plugin add new it says it's installed so I might guess I will have to activate it so I'm gonna activate it activate it okay but this has not been uh, yet working because there is no this is a contact form area actually the contact form plugin area so we can see that there is no this ID has not been here so what we will do is we will simply we will copy this code and we will go to the contact settings from the option panel this is the option panel settings I will explain you that in the my next video but for now to setting it up I will simply control C and control V and save changes and let me see what it shows so you can see the contact form is here and it's working very fine so this is how we set up the West multi-purpose demo in any WordPress freshly uh, freshly installed wordpress and this is how it gets done i will in my next video i will explain you this option panel so you can see how to configure rest things in this theme thank you